Vice President Mike Pence reaffirms Washington's support of the Iranian people amid a wave of ongoing anti-government demonstrations. In a tweet Wednesday, Pence said as Iranians take to the streets in protest, the Ayatollah regime continues to use violence and imprisonment to oppress its own people. He added the White House's message is clear. America will stand with the people of Iran. In the meantime, exclusive video footage shows ongoing unrest and rampant violence in Iran as citizens continue to protest policies of the Ayatollah regime. Now One America's Christian Rose has more. Iran's Ayatollah regime claims to have defeated the latest round of anti-government protests in that country. Over the past few days, at least 100 Iranian cities have been engulfed in violent clashes due to increases in fuel prices and a broader deterioration in economic conditions. But in a statement Wednesday, President Hassan Rouhani said the wave of unrest is over. The rebels were organized, armed and instructed by the backward states of the region, as well as the Zionists and Americans. I consider this another big victory for the Iranian nation. However, exclusive footage obtained by One American News may be contradicting the regime's statements. Amateur videos taken in the streets of Tehran, Shiraz, Isfahan and other cities show protesters demanding an end to the Islamic rule in their country, a better economy and good relations with the world. Despite these exclusive insights, the scale of civil unrest in Iran remains unclear, as the Ayatollah regime cut off Internet access throughout the country to prevent free exchange of information. According to human rights group Amnesty International, more than 100 people were killed by the Ayatollah security forces during clashes. Actual figures, however, may be much higher, and some of the exclusive footage shows unprecedented levels of violence used against protesters, with riot police even attacking people in their cars. Security forces are using uh, live ammunition and uh, tear gas and water cannons to violently disperse protesters. Snipers uh, are um, shooting into uh, crowds of people from rooftops and in at least one case from a helicopter. Another video obtained by One American News shows protesters taking control of parts of the city of Shiraz. On November the 18th, regime officials struggled to maintain their grip on their city, while protesters attacked police stations, banks and government agencies in their push for change. Some say possible fall of the Ayatollah regime could create a dangerous power vacuum in Iran, and it's unclear what would come next. Simply responding with harsh words and an iron fist raises a significant risk not only of violating international norms and standards but also of seriously aggravating the situation to everyone's disadvantage, including the governments. The National Council of Resistance of Iran says the regime's guards of the Islamic Revolution used tanks, armored vehicles and even helicopters to fire at protesters. Reports claim many demonstrators were also kidnapped, tortured and quietly executed during the clashes. Meanwhile, U.S. officials are calling for the release of more information from inside Iran. We are also trying to put in place workarounds to, to help the people work around the Iranian regime shutting down the Internet. And we think that that's going to help some people connect to the Internet so that they can continue get it to getting out their videos. Iranian officials have denounced reports of ongoing protests as disinformation, saying they have the situation under control. But despite the Ayatollah regime airing videos of pro-government rallies, independent sources say internal dissent in Iran is gradually gaining momentum. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.